in this problem we have to find the net charge enclosed by this surface from which electric field is passing the electric field is directed along x axis the length of this cube is 25 meter in all directions so the electric field is given to be 650 newton per coulomb at this left face of the cube and it decreases to 370 newton per coulomb at x is equal to 25 that is the right face of the cube let us now find the solution to this problem here we have drawn the cube in an explanatory way so you can see the direction of electric field is along positive x axis everywhere so it has six faces which are s1 this face is s1 this face is s2 this face is s3 this bottom face is s4 and the face in the toward the front that is o p u v is s5 and face at the back that is q r s t is s6 now the electric field everywhere is along plus x axis therefore the angle between electric field and area vector is 90 degree for the faces s4 s3 s5 and s6 for the face s2 electric field and area vector are in the same direction so the angle between the electric field and area vector for s2 will be 0 degree because area vector is always directed toward the outward normal however for the face s1 the electric field is directed toward plus x axis and the area vector is directed toward minus x axis because area vector has to be directed toward the outward normal so here the angle between electric field and area vector is 180 degree now we assume that the magnitude of the electric field at this face has symbol e1 and as per the statement its value is given to be 650 newton per, per coulomb and we assume that the value of electric field at the face p q t u that is s2 phase is e2 and its value is given to be 370 newton per coulomb to us therefore by gauss law we can write electric flux which is equal to closed surface integration of electric field and it is equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon not we can now break this closed integration into sum of integration of electric field over six open faces of the cube that is s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 and s6 as described previously the value of angle between electric field and area vector for s1 is 0 degree for s2 it is 180 degree while for all other four surfaces this value of the angle between electric field and area vector is actually 90 degree so if i put these values this is 180 degree this is 0 degree all other angles you can see here are 90 degree and we know that the cos 180 is minus 1 and e1 is taken outside because the magnitude of electric field is constant everywhere on the face so and similarly the value of cos 0 degree is 1 and we take e2 outside the integration because magnitude of electric field at the second face defined by the surface s2 is again a constant quantity while since cos 90 degree is 0 so these four contributions will add up to 0 now the area of each face of the cube will be the product of each length that is 25 meter into 25 meter when we open this integration so the answer of this integration over the whole area of the surface s1 will be 625 meter square here and 625 meter square here also and when we solve this further we get 625 as common so it will be minus e1 plus e2 equal to q by epsilon not but the value of e1 is given to be 650 newton per coulomb and the value of e2 is given to be 370 newton per coulomb if we put these values then we can write q equal to this epsilon not will come to the numerator after cross multiplication so the value of q will become epsilon not 
into 625 into minus 280 which is actually the resultant of this value and if we put the value of epsilon naught that is 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 12 in appropriate units and this value is 625 and this value is 280 then we can very easily calculate that the charge enclosed by the cube is actually 1.549 into 10 raised to power minus 12 coulomb thank you